Yo, what's good? You guys want to come in? Check it out? Let's go. My name is Stefano Gugliotto, and I am the CEO of Obscure Sneakers. I was getting really into collecting in around 2013, 2014, but I was always into the fashion world. My brother was really into sneakers and actually obscure sneakers and shoes that would be exclusive in Europe, you know, especially Pumas and even diesel shoes from back in the day. Sneakers that people weren't into. He wasn't into Nikes or Adidas or anything like that. So I grew up liking the obscure. I grew up like trying to be different. So those shoes right here are usually mostly collaborations. The vintage obscure sneakers that I have, they're old pieces. And for me, they're part of my collection, but I don't wear them because I don't want them to break. I don't want them to crumble. I don't want the sole to come out. I think I want to show the Air Craze. I just love the Air Craze. It signifies everything all together and it ties it down so well. It's a nice hybrid with, you know, all the details that people would love to see. I got this shoe actually on eBay, on the eBay app. I used eBay to look for shoes, to look for even shoes to post on my page to show people. And then a lot of the vintage shoes that I have are bought through eBay as well. It's, it's a way through digging through history. I'm gonna talk to you guys about my five tips of shopping on eBay. Tip number one, you need to play with the keywords. You need to know what you wanna find, either what size you're looking for, what brand you're looking for. Your keywords are the best way and your gateway of finding exactly what you're looking for. Tip number two, you need to sort your products. What I mean about that is that you need to go through your newly listed. People always upload daily. Daily, every minute, every 10 minutes, they upload new products. So always sort to the newly added. Tip number three, this also has to do with the act of sorting. Change it to ending soonest, that's a great tip. If you sort it to ending soonest, you'll see the ones that were posted back in the day so you can go and see exactly what you wanted to look for. Tip number four, if you're the highest bidder on a product that you really want, make sure you pay attention to that timer. There's a little timer in every single product. Check when it's like a minute left and always refresh. Go to your product, refresh every single time because there's bidders there wanting to take that shoe from you. Do not bid one extra dollar every single time. Do like five bucks so you can actually secure the product because you're gonna lose out if you don't. Tip number five, remember to always have an arsenal of categories that you search daily. You know, I'm gonna give you an example, you know, vintage sneakers, vintage Saucony, vintage Nike. Go through the arsenal because you'll find that gem that you really want.